going yep. thank you <laughs> all right so what we're going to try to show you today is a little window inside of the studio the mind and the project of Tung Chang who is our incredible studio director here at Heath he takes an idea a concept and he explores it all year and then does a show where he shares what he came up with and it's a show where he makes objects and are available for sale this is the 10th year he's been doing this and so after this he's going to start a new chapter so it's the beginning of something new but it kind of bookends this project This is Simone. This is Kathy. We've been working together for a long time, creative projects, and this is our crazy idea that we have to tell you about the inside Heath coolness said much better, I'm sure, in a moment by Kathy. <laughs> we just want to take you inside Heath and see things, show you things that not everybody gets to see that I think we both notice and think are really really cool and worth sharing. So, I've had the pleasure of knowing Tongue for many years. And we love each other. Tung, do you have a stool we could sit on? Oh. Um, I don't know, like you shouldn't. <laughs> oh, thank you. They Bye. are actually not close to me. I just bug him because I get in there with these questions that are like so simple and you'll see why when we go into his studio and you'll see how thoughtful he is about every detail and frankly, totally obsessed with design. Like, obsessed and does call himself a hoarder. He called himself a hoarder. And why don't you tell me why we're here and what we're, well, why, what were we talking about? It is 10 design series. Yeah. I've been working on this project for 10 years now. Often I love when the maker able to like talk about why, mm -hmm. where, how. So Tang, would you take me on a tour of what's in front of us? Please? Sure. Okay. Um, we are on a year of work on my table right now. Like, and all of them is part of the design series like this bowl with a small storage unit and stuff like that. Little objects means they are two part of work that need to connect to each other. That as a skill set is a challenge. It's that like each year I want a design series that challenge my skill sets, mm -hmm. not only the design perspective. So that is part of it. But what I find it interesting is that like the motion of like opening and close, it kind of fitting for the theme of the design series this year, which is design series 10. It's going to be the last one. I open it, I close it, I may open something else. So I just want to use this exercise to kind of like capture the spirit of the last year. But then you have something serving surprisingly to the audience. Chips and guacamole. 
guacamole it is. <laughs> And in this case, like I still have a certain limitation of building size. I'm taking advantage of these little objects to allow me to build size that I usually cannot. In this case, the final outcome looked like a large totem that almost looked like a large vessel that you see. Mm -hmm. But in a way, they actually is separate into multi pieces. So by separate them with the uh, same cylinder, of height, they eventually yeah. can be regrouped and combined. And in this case, this is actually work as a lid. So this is another jar. So like you can kind of play around with, with or without stopper, how these work as a group. Wow. And then so like in this simple objects, this Lego block and eventually can combine like a different version. Can I use vegetable on the dip serving bowl? Sure. Okay, that's fine. Um, but eventually I make a lid specific for it. I keep a hole. So in the beginning, I was thinking about, I want to have some different material. I want a silver handle. Mm. And then eventually, of course, I will find my best friend, Julia Turner. Oh. She's just right next door mm. and she be make beautiful things. And then we went through Rummage or her studios and look for everything that fit here. But once we put a little tiny wooden house on top, then the idea actually come find itself. It's almost like a frozen lake mm. and the house is sitting in the middle. Then we started having this like fun conversation. We want to continue the exploration and eventually the bottom of it. If you look close, it's actually, you can view almost oh. like the, the ductwork and plumbing, oh. the electricity of this house that are being reviewed under the water. That's so, so, cool. um, so how is that? Because there's in... a hole in between it. So there's a screw thread oh. between the top wood piece and the bottom wood piece. So Julia made this amazing like little hidden sculpture. Hidden objects is about how much hint you want to give it to the audience. Mm -hmm. There's something inside. You, if you can design something that is almost completely disappear, people don't understand there's something inside. But in this case, I actually allow a really strong hint to say, open me up. And then in my case, it's a post-it <laughs> note with the price. There's an extra component to this design series. Mm -hmm. What am I looking at? You are looking at a collection called Present 10. Um, I'm playing around with the word of present tense. Mm -hmm. The way I consider this is that like I'm building a collection of 10. In my mind, they are interacting with each other. Almost like a learning, how you walk. You, it's one step on top of the other, but you sometimes fall and then you go back and you start again. But yet, like the collection is about moving forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then, so it would remind me that like, what if the 10 collections speak to each other? What will happen? And on top, there's another idea that I'm thinking is that like, I think beside myself, not many audience to have owned the whole collections right. together. So I want to create opportunities that is like, hey, you know what? Like you can come back and understand how I'm going to create something that like is co contained all the 10 design series themes together. So what are you looking at is the results. I was have a big themes that like going to make 10 sets, but with the time that I have and also the energy that I want to put in, I finished seven of them, which I it's find a it. Lot. Well, I find that actually is a good stop. I'm the son of the seven son. So like, I think it's perfect for me to stop at the seven. It's kind of my personality. I don't like to sit still. I don't like to be uniform. Perfect example, maybe the camera can walk around with us as well, is that this box is going to mount it on the wall. To dividing a square into 10 mm -hmm. is the first challenge. Mm. It's very easy to de design a square into nine. But in this case, I want to divide them equally as a 10. And that has become the first starting point. I want the box enhance the objects and talk to the objects and allow the objects to shine. Literally, it's a light lighting design. 
So I integrate a lighting element on the bottom of the shell so this become almost like a light box. Yeah, this is another present 10 idea which is about connecting all the 10 design series into one object. In this case, I was inspired by this craft wood box that's storing ceramics and the handwriting and the box and construction, everything is so beautiful. So then eventually I started thinking about like what I learned through the last 10 years. We used to talk about it all the time. Glaze is not color. Not color. Then what is glaze then? In this case, it's actually is a message. It's an expression of ideas. So in each vessel that I am working here, each of them has a poem, Chinese poem. My friend, I wrote in English, my friend from Hong Kong helped me translate. He says, some sao lin xin, some do sao yao si, some sao ling sam yao hao. Wow, this is really hard to translate. But what he's saying here is that on the second year, my heart and my hand is connected. Sometimes my heart leaves my hands, sometimes my hand leaves my heart. what is around and stay stay close okay stay you may close. be shocked by how amazing this is stay close all right